do that protocol for our singers as well as they travel down this powwow road in a good way and share the songs that are given to them by our creator with that walking buffalo drum song. <laughs> Vernell Constant, you want to be part of our Vernell grand entry as well. Dancers, if you want to be part of our drum song, we welcome you into our arbor at this time, anytime, as we ask our grassers to join in a good way to help bless our arbor, to help set the stage here for our celebration here at Surgeon Lake, as we honor our singers, the sound of the drum, the heartbeat of our nation, or the drum song here rendered by Walking Buffalo. Hey! Oh, hey, it's power time, Surgeon Lake. Hoochah, hoochah. Come on out here, dancers. Make your way behind the announcer stand. It's going to be grand entry momentarily. Hey, hey, thank you, Walking Buffalo. Thank you to those grass dancers for joining in and helping us open up our celebration here. Four grass dancers joining us there for our drum song as we recognize in Indian country our relationship with the Creator, with Mother Earth, with the lifestyle that we live. As we recognize those four dancers that have come to help support that drum song. It symbolizes, as we know, everything we do in this lifestyle, in our Nihiak way, has relationship, has meaning. The four directions, the four colors of man, the four seasons, and the four phases of life that we recognize. Thank you again to those dancers for blessing us with their style of dance in a good way here. Thank you, Walking Buffalo. All right, we're going to, Arena Director has given us word here just to watch our children here as we're going to go forward with our grand entry and make sure that we're keeping our arbor in a good, clean way here in Sturgeon Lake, singers, to keep that as mine as well around your drums. The sacred drum, the heartbeat of our nation, friends and relatives. We're going to bring in our first grand entry here momentarily. As soon as we get the high sign, I'm going to bring forward my friend and relative here. It's been a long time since we had the opportunity to MC side by side. And here we are back together again. My senior MC that I have the privilege of doing MC duties and many celebrations and here again to start things off in a good way in 2022 as we come out of the pandemic not right out but we're coming out of it we're able to gather once again and share songs and share our style of dance and share our culture with one another we're going to turn things over at this time to bring in our first country Mr. Sanford Strongarm Thank you very much, Cal. Once again, uh, there, folks, we got uh, all our dancers all standing by here. Of course, we got the walking buffalo singers here as well. 
We welcome you all here to Sturgeon Lake, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that people take pride in, of course, uh, the good place that they live right here as well. And next, you know, when we come back here with the next celebration, they will have the paved road right here. Man, is that going to be awesome? I tell you, it is going to be awesome. But none awesomer than what we're going to see here tonight and what we're going to witness as well. That is our grand entry, ladies and gentlemen. And it's showcasing everybody that is a part of that as well. <laughs> We'd like to say welcome at this time to all our dignitaries, those that have come here tonight to celebrate with us here in Sturgeon Lake. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all rise at this time as we go to a walk in Buffalo, if you will, boys. It is grand entry time. Hookah, take it away, boys. Hookah. You know, it is part of our customary ways of our people, ladies and gentlemen. When we call upon those grandfathers in the four directions to be with us here within this circle, within this time, to give us strength as we go forward within this walk of life that we have. And of course, we always make that time for that spirit to be with us here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our EO staff carriers, along with our flag bearers, our veterans, and of course, the widows of our veterans, our, our leadership, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, here, our elders, those that we utilize for the purpose of prayer within the steeping, and of course, that extends right here to this celebration. Let us welcome our leadership from all communities being here tonight and our Kokums of Powell, of course, ladies and gentlemen, right here in this community as well. We welcome you all here this evening. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, working to bring a celebration, our committee members as well. And of course, representing their power celebrations, representing their chief and councils, representing their people, our royal team making their way up this time. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, let us make welcome our golden age men dancers as they come in the dancing area. Come on in, boys, come on in. It's power time. Hooka, hooka. And of course you're listening to the sounds, the very beautiful sounds of the walking buffalo singers. Hey, ha, hey, hukka, hukka. Let us make welcome at this time, enter the dancing area, our men's traditional dancers. And of course, in behind, we have our men's grass dancers. Grass dancers entering the dancing area. Come on in, show your stuff, boys. The people are watching. They come here for that purpose here, to see our grand entry. Dancers at this time. Hookah, boys. Hookah, hookah. Hey, ha, hey, ha, 
Let's make welcome at this time, ladies and gentlemen, our men's fancy dancers. Hey, show them what it's all about there, boys. Show them what it's all about. They are the life givers. They are the keepers of our fires, ladies and gentlemen. They are our grandmothers of Powell. Let us make welcome the Golden Age men's lady dancers as they enter the dancing area. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us make welcome at this time. We have with us, ladies and gentlemen, our lady traditional dancers as they come into the dancing area. Let's see a beautiful styles of dances indeed right here. And of course, the dance style that originated amongst the Ojibwe people, the Anishinaabe people, ladies and gentlemen, a lady by the name of Mikey White has showcased and told the story about this particular style of dance. Ladies and gentlemen, a healing dance across the nation. Let us make welcome our ladies' jingle. And of course, in behind, we have our ladies' fancy shawl. Coming in the dancing area this time, let us make welcome our teen categories entering the dancing area this time. Teen Boys Traditional. Show them what it's all about there, boys. Show them what it's all about. <laughs> teen Boys Grass. Hookah, boys. Hookah. Along with our teen boys, Fancy Bustle. Teen girls, traditional, making their way in. Welcome at this time, we have our Teen Girls Jingle Dress Dancers coming in the dancing area. Welcome, young people. Welcome. Hookah, hookah. And now we have our Teen Girls Fancy Shawl. We will win to our Young men, junior boys, traditional. Come on out there, people. Come on down. Hookah, hookah. That's your style, young people. That's your style. And of course, Teen Boys Grass, Teen Boys Chicken. And of course, our teen boys, junior boys, fancy muscle dancers, coming in at this time. Look, uh -huh. come on in there, junior girls, come on in. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. And now we have our junior girls, jingle dress dancers. Welcome, young people. Welcome. Welcome our junior girls, fancy shawl dancers. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, a pow with me a pow with all these young people. They are the future of power, ladies and gentlemen. These 
are our Tiny Tots coming in at this time. Welcome, Tiny Tots. Welcome. Hi, hi, thank you very much. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, to a beautiful grand entry here this evening. Time. Good one. You know, it all starts, ladies and gentlemen, right back there each and every morning. These elders get together to raise the pipe on behalf of each and every one of us. And of course, the connection that it has within this sacred area that we come to dance on right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we always been a part of this way of prayer. The Creator had given this to our people in this understanding of well, as well. We have a connection with a lot of people across North America, right here in Saskatchewan only. We are the capital of powers in Saskatchewan, ladies and gentlemen. That is throughout the world and things like that. Ladies and gentlemen, a good friend of ours from down in the south, he travels extensively. And each and every time that we have a celebration here in Sturgeon Lake, he has always come here and being a part of that, ladies and gentlemen, right here to pray and uh, say an invocation to go to that creator on our behalf here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask each and every one of you here tonight within your minds, your hearts here this evening, let's all help them in your own way. Just a thought within your mind is a part of that prayer here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Mr. Tommy Draper to do our invocation here this evening. Uh -huh. I think so, Lenny, I and Lady Aniho, Yades Ako here. I think so, I do. Quay, he can't, I really was not near Quay has I, Quayat, eh, who here. Out of home, I think so, don't know how to hack, and he never had a hoyat or shingle. He had a hit about it, and he had a more at all, let's call for that, and Quay has in so when he shall Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I came from New Mexico. I travel, like he said, you know, all over the United States, across Canada, and it's a great honor to be here again this year. I brought my kids all grow up now, and my grandkids, they come and travel with me again. So it's a great honor, and uh, tonight, I want to pray for all you guys. I want to use my first language, from the smallest to the oldest here. I know we've been going through struggles of this COVID, you know, everybody's got household, they lost a loved one, so it doesn't matter what color it was, they're all different, all kinds of different tribes, and, and I, the, even the white people and the black people, all these got, they, had a, they took some of their lives, you know, so I pray for all of them, and uh, I know some of you are going through the hard time, you don't even feel like going, staying home, you know, and you think about a lot of these things. And uh, tonight, this evening, I pray for you guys. Hope that everything will be every turn good. I want you to have everything come back in the good ways. And you always have your grandkids to look back to, your kids, you know. Whatever you have, you're still left with you, you know. But I want to want you to listen to my language, you know. I don't, I'm not ashamed of my language because I had elders that my, my dad and my, uh, my uncle, they serve in the second war, they use their language. So today I always carried it. And I, I'm always proud of it, using my language. So I want to share with my language with you guys for my, my prayer, my way. 
ก็เรื่องสมณะสาธิคนขันนาคดานี้เนี่ยก็เรียกว่าเจ้าคนอาจารย์ส่งลีนิคนเนี่ยเข้ามาเป็นเจ้าสิทธิ์สิทธิ์
Let's so let go and to put down our arms, you know, just to bring that peace amongst each other. So what they did, this was a spear at one time, a spear. That meant there was, there was a lot of fighting amongst the people. So what they did is they bent it in that way so that they would bring peace amongst the people. And that's why we see that in that way here today, ladies and gentlemen. These flags that we have right here, they represent who we are today. We have with us here the crown and also the people in the Treaty 6 area coming together to sign a deal, a treaty amongst the people. And of course we have our community as well, our flags that we use today. But many, many years back it wasn't so. It was only recently with that we got these flags together, you know, to represent our people. But it was something that these men went out there for the purpose. The ultimate sacrifice that they did in their beliefs and changing. You know, changing that way of our governments and how they outlawed our people. When they signed up, there was some, you know, things that were supposed to be a part of that, you know, in the, uh, going into the wars at that time. There was promises that were made to the peoples. If you enlist, you will get a little piece of land. Not so. That didn't happen to these men. It didn't happen to these men. But they still honor that flag. They still honor that flag because each and every day when they had that sacrifice to fight for this country, they still honor that flag and that treaty as well. Let us all dance in victory for what our ancestors were left for each and every one of us. We dance in victory for today and we dance for tomorrow as well. Let us all dance in victory.
let's give a big round of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful Grand Entry right here, Sturgeon Lake 2022 celebration. Beautiful.